I want to tell you a story. It's a story you may think you know, but <laughs> you don't. A story. Of the Wooden Boy. Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio is the latest stop motion movie that will be released on Netflix next month. The form of animation has been around a very long time. This weekend you can check out a stop motion shorts festival online featuring shorts from around the world. And now David Rocco Ficini, he's the founder of Mo Stop Mo. He joins us now to tell us a little bit more about this festival and this art form. It's yeah, just so unique. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, you know, stop motion is the very first form of animation ever put the film. Mm -hmm. And one of the coolest things about it is like every art form that can possibly exist, exists in stop motion. Mm. I mean, set building, sculpting, acting, storytelling, lighting, cinematography, everything is contained. And it's interesting how it's always seen as having a resurgence, but it's as old as the, like the mm. first tool. You know, it's like the hammer or fire. Yeah, you know? tell us a little bit more how it's made today. Is it, I mean, I'm sure it's evolved with technology, but is the technique basically the same in its core? Technology helps in that back in the day, if you shot it on film, you'd have to wait for the film to be developed. So the feedback is instant. And what you can do with compositing helps. And depending on the artist, you could either do everything everything in camera with lighting, how they used to do it back in the day, or some purists do it, but there's also others who use a lot of compositing effects, like we just saw a little bit from uh, Pinocchio, mm -hmm. and I, they did a lot of very good traditional stuff, but they also use modern techniques. Uh, got to see Pinocchio at the Music Box the and other so night. And so what's this so. right here? This looks. Like so these are some of the shorts that we're featuring from our festival, and we get shorts from around the world. Uh, this one is hard-boiled, and it's... Uh, really great half hour of irreverent uh, kind of noir. We have very personal stories. We have social activism stories, kids stories, adult stories. And it's just a really cool venue for expression and hearing different stories from around the world and their perspectives. Are there any um, animators or creators of these films from Chicago, like local from Chicago that are entering this year? Well, not local from Chicago, no. I mean. Most time will produce a film, and I'm local from Chicago, and our yeah. film did really well on a festival circuit. We actually won several awards, and we were featured at Cannes just this past July. That's so that awesome. was fun. But we, one of our jurors is, uh, all of our jurors give direct feedback to all the filmmakers, whether they're in the fest or not. And one of our jurors, who's a visual developer for Guillermo del Toro in the past, uh, gives direct feedback. He will give direct feedback to Hardwell, the, the, the short that you pointed out. But we have a, a panel of jurors who worked on, like, Star Wars and Star Wars original effects for stop motion and um, just basically uh, animator for uh, Pinocchio is also yeah. going to be a juror for giving feedback for our fest as well. Am I getting this correct here? 24 frames of film to make one second? You know, that's Ish. the baseline. <laughs> if you wanted to look really smooth, sometimes you could shoot as many as 60 frames. Okay. For so one, it yeah. depends on how obsessive you uh, get I to see be. What you mean. And people in this medium are very particular and can be obsessive, but then it shows in the work. Well, I'm just thinking about, you know, a half hour film. Yeah. I mean, that could have taken quite a while to, to actually get together. I think that, like, as an example, the Del Toro film, I think, took about three years to shoot and that was a very intense process. A short film like we produced, which was eight minutes, took about a year or so to produce. Wow. So it depends on like, you know, where you want to put your passion, you know, and your your drive, yeah, I guess. Of course. Yeah. And there's of course. also is there a category for this type of movie at the Oscars, I believe as well? Or you know, sort there, of the the one interesting thing about stop motion features is there's never been a stop motion feature that has won an Oscar. You know, mm -hmm. James or like a Nightmare Before Christmas you would have thought of, but yeah. everyone's crossing their fingers because there's like four big stop motion <laughs> films that are coming out or that have, are out. Phil Tippett's Mad God, uh, Pinocchio. Um, Wendell and Wild, which is on Netflix right now, and then Marcel, the show with shoes on. They're oh, yeah. all contenders. I don't know whether they'll be nominated, but I saw Del Toro's pick, and I honestly, if they didn't get Best Animated Feature this year, yeah, I'm quitting. Yeah. <laughs> but it sounds like the genre is doing well, and it's going to be going strong for a long time. <laughs> I mean, you always need a hammer, you know, so you always need fire. So that's it's the basis of everything that's animation. So yeah. I don't see it going anywhere. But it's always this kind of like little specialized industry yeah. so I feel like you see these a lot when you watch like a Pixar movie they'll have a little before the previews mm -hmm. they'll show you know here's a featured short and it's right. this style uh, so it's nice to see that there's an entire festival just you know giving recognition to this work thanks yeah we're passionate about it and we're just trying to grow the community and just kind of make more you know awareness of like this stuff exists and it's fun stuff and 
you know, we'll maybe find one stop motion animator in a sea of computer of animators. Course. But, you know. Yeah. Well, let's give the uh, information again here because we want to spread the word here. The Stop Motion Shorts Festival. It is tomorrow at 5 p.m. You can watch it on the Mo Stop Mo YouTube channel. Uh, there's the information. Do we get all that correct there? Yeah, that all looks so pretty good. All right. Fantastic. Well, it's fantastic to meet you. Uh, congrats. And I uh, appreciate you being here. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right. We'll be right back.